Coming at you full fledged, it's your boy Rage Man Reg with another video for y'all, man. Welcome, YouTube. So, in the new look Phoenix Suns is 116-107 loss last night against the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, point guard Chris Paul uh, achieved a great milestone that I wanted to give him credit for in this video. In his, in Paul's, uh, in this game, Chris Paul had five points. Okay. Yeah, while you say five points, you can say, oh, he didn't play well. But at the same time, he had Josh Okoge, who just got traded, I think, from, I think he was on the Timberwolves. Uh, he shot six for, six for 12 from three. Booker. Uh, had 35 points. DeAndre Ayton had 18. And, uh, I mean, not, not 35. He had 19. I'm tripping. And, uh, and, uh, DeAndre Ayton again had 18 points. But back to Chris Paul. Chris Paul had five points. Uh, 11, 11 dimes. Dished out 11 dimes. And with his four steals that he had, uh, Paul has just surpassed, uh, who some believe the consensus greatest of all time to be Michael Jordan in all time steals with 2,515. Now, uh, this is just a testament to how great of a defender Chris Paul is at the position of a point guard. While we give Paul his credit for being the quote unquote point god. His defensive prowess isn't given enough credit in my opinion. I mean, we we know he has led the league in steals multiple times, but nobody considers him an all time great defensive point guard as well. Maybe because you know, in the big moments, uh, his size be can become a hindrance to his to his uh to his team no matter how good his defense is. I mean we saw it last we saw it last postseason with uh Luka Doncic. We've seen it previous times with uh let's think let's go back with uh Steph Curry. Steph Curry's a little bigger than him. I think Chris Paul is six feet. Steph Curry six three. It's uh Steph Curry's considered a little man in the NBA. So uh yeah this just goes to show how great of a defender Chris Paul is at six feet in the NBA. Um, how many times has Chris Paul led the lead in uh, steals? Chris Paul has led the lead in steals uh, in a, a, a crazy six times uh, back in uh, 2007 and 8, back in 2008 and 9, and four straight years from uh, 2011 to 2014. So, man, that goes crazy. His career high in steals per game was, again, back in 2009 uh, with the New Orleans Hornets, 2.8 steals. That same year, he averaged, uh, I mean, yeah, he averaged 11 uh, assists uh, per game in, and while leading the league in passing as well. Uh, one thing I can say about Chris Paul, uh, looking at his stats is while he can't necessarily, well, he has done it before. While he can't necessarily take over with points, his, uh, his, uh, floor generalship being passing his own. I, I basically to cut it short, I think Chris Paul is one of the great combination passing defensive players ever. That's just my opinion. And uh, last season, even, he led the league in assists for the fifth time with 10.8 at age 36. Now, is he an all-star caliber player? Absolutely not. Remember, I said keep that same energy about Chris Paul. 
Uh, they did lose. The Phoenix Suns lost in this game. This uh, video is not necessarily going to be a recap of the game. But the Suns, they were fighting back the whole game. I mean, I think they got as close to the three. They might have even got the lead at some times. But uh, you got Plumlee, Bones, Highland. Plumlee, Bones, Highland, and Eric Gordon. Uh putting up 30 points off the bench, 10 rebounds and 11, 11 from the free throw line. Uh, and, and Kawhi Leonard, after going scoreless in the first half, just going crazy in the second. I mean, that's going to happen. And plus, the Suns didn't even have KD. So, again, this is just a congratulations to Chris Paul, uh, one of the great defensive point guards in the NBA and in the NBA's history. And uh, we'll see the progression of the Phoenix Suns and the Los Angeles Clippers as the season goes on because the Clippers just passed uh, the Phoenix Suns and they now have home court advantage. So uh, the season series is now 2-1 Phoenix and hopefully next time they face off, KD is in it. So that's all I had to say in this video. Congratulations to one of my favorite point guards in NBA history, Chris Paul, for that milestone. Uh, hit the like button, uh, share this video for others to see, comment at the beginning, middle, and end. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Of course, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop. If there's a particular topic you want me to speak on, or if you just want to donate to the progression of the channel, hit that pin link in the comment section below and donate to the Rage Man. And I'm out!